No, nah, it's somebody else's ideas. It's moped army ideas. So, uh, you can see I'm losing some gold here because uh, I've got a 20, 20 to sprocket. And get this puppy on there. I don't know if you can, you can probably see it right there. Still got uh, material in each groove of the chain there and I still need to go a little bit past that uh, so that the chain will ride on the inside edge of here. So I'm going down two extra teeth on the rear but uh, I need to accommodate some room. So how do you do that on a Tomos rim? You take preferably an old axle just in case you screw up or I mean if, uh, if you don't if you care about this axle, protect your threads just in case, you know, I mean, you slip with the angle grinder or something like that, because you're going to need an angle grinder. And I've got it, uh, just one bolt and a washer bolted on there, and you're able to give her a spin. So, what happens at this point, you take your angle grinder, you take some safety gear, this is in grind mode, and, uh, you uh, just hit it on this edge here. So I'm going to try and uh, get out of grind mode so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And uh, put the camera down hopefully somewhere where this can be seen. And uh, give her just a little bit of extra spin. Help it get going. Uh, once it is going, this is, it, it just provides its own so make sure once or you're spinning in I guess a clockwise direction if you're doing it from the right side um, I guess if you were left-handed wanting to do it from this side you might have to change uh, which way the wheel spin maybe maybe not I'm not gonna think about it so let's uh, give her a spin then Spinning a little quick there, and it's slowly coming along. So you just keep that up until uh, until you get down enough that uh, your chain will clear. Uh, there is some some measurements and stuff listed on Moped Army. You can go look that up if you want, but uh, just keep grinding until you. You, you could take a little piece of chain and put the sprocket on, make sure it's all going to fit nice. But you also want to watch your tolerances because you, you're you going to get uh, close to those holes and you don't want to, sorry, and you don't want to, don't want to get too close to the inside walls. But getting there, it's going to be a lot more grinding, so. Grind away.
Yeah, a little too quick there. That's the kind of slip I'm talking about. So. Use an old crappy axle. So, where's my sprocket? There's my sprocket. So, we are now clear of the. Uh, So now you can see we are clear, but maybe still not enough room to s let the chain uh, clear. So again, there are some measurements of uh, what you need to clear on Moped Army. Maybe I can uh, mix in an image and uh, credit to credit to the poster. Um, but I still I pretty sure from what I looked at in the image I've got a little bit more to go not too much though so maybe uh, maybe another one run through there and get my bearings all covered in aluminum dust so one more run and uh, I'll give it a go if not I'll have to give it just another run it'll be either trial and error unless you go by the measurements so give her one more go here Looks like we're getting close to that line, about as close as I want to get. Yeah, cutting it pretty dang close there, so I'm going to leave it there. I think I've got enough room to clear. My chain will tell me for sure. Um, if you want, you can leave it like that. If you don't want to, uh, because of the way this is and the way I like to hold this, I like to uh, unplug this puppy so I don't actually turn it on while I'm trying to frickin get one of these out just because of the way this stupid button is here so trade that up and what do we got 60 80 80 flap disc. And we'll just clean it, shine it up a little bit. Not too much, but. And I'll see. I don't think I have any gold paint, but. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's aluminum. It's not going to rust on you. So don't worry about that. If I could push that button. Why are you not. There we go. Go in the hole. Go in your home. Well, that's not going to work. So I got this thing on backwards. Does not appear to be. Oh, come on. Have to go 
they're both a little better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Flat this time. How about you plug it in first? Trying to clean that area up just so it, the sprocket goes on a little nicer. There we go. Now we should have clearance for the chain. I might have to go a little more, but uh, hopefully not. There you go. So I might still need to clear out just a touch more, but we'll see. I'll, I'll have to get the chain out and see if it fits and see if it clears see how it sits on the sprocket but that's how you get her done just pop her in a vise let the angle grinder do the work and then you can clean it up with a flap disc and paint it up so cheers guys have a good one um there's a rally coming up june 4th the 50 run and uh that's what this is all about so getting the bikes ready to go on a rally